Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this special episode. Hi. Uh, today we are going to go through our Persona figure collection. <laughs> we shot the Persona episode of our Shin Megami Tensei retrospective a while ago, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, that stuff takes a while to edit, so that will get up eventually, but uh, we've been wanting to do this for a while as we'll tack onto that episode, and it's a... Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's we have a decent figure collection for Persona. Yeah. We're not too into figure collecting, but there are some things that <laughs> we just kind differ. of fall into. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, this may be, Persona may be the thing that kicked off our kind of figure I collecting. So, like yeah. We had a bit one or two big statues, but it was really Persona that was like, let's go after everything. Right. It's hard not to want to get a full set, like yeah. when you love all the characters from the game. And we don't mean like everything, everything, because there's multiple versions yeah. of, of these statues. We don't care for everything. Um, I mean, sometimes it's hard, like sometimes we saw that, um, I guess Yukata one recently, oh, you kind of yeah. want that, but it's like, how I many statues it. can you really have? Yeah. Um, so this is our Persona collection, <laughs> and, um, I don't know, let's just go through it, kind of. I guess, do we go by type or by game, or? Well, let's start in the front row, because that's kind of interesting. Um, oh, yeah, the, um, the keychain collection we got from Japan. Most yeah. of it we got Capsule from Japan. Capsule machines, yeah. yeah. The Persona 4, um, I think it's Persona 4 Golden Capsule Machines. Mm -hmm. There's two sets so we needed to play two different capsule machines yeah and we got quite a few extras that we kept uh, we use as keychains or we gave mm -hmm. away to friends and um but not so many actually i was really surprised we did pretty good yeah there weren't any like real chasers like, yeah we, we didn't have to spend a lot of money to get a, a full set of the the main characters and it was nice. it was was it a dollar a piece like a hundred yen each yeah. play was yeah. that it Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, we um, we're missing kanji, which pisses me off. I know we have it. Yeah, he just um, got I know we were so excited out. when we finally got them all in Japan. So yeah. he's just probably packed away somewhere that I missed when I was pulling out the rest of them. Mm -hmm. It's a shame though, because we're also missing kanji in the big figures. I know. Yeah, well, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, it's like, why is kanji so hard to get? <laughs> we love kanji. Actually, yeah. I love kanji. I love his story arc. Yeah. I love his characterization. He's <laughs> such he's such an amazing character. Yeah. And yet we don't have him and. Uh, that's not our fault. <laughs> um, uh, I guess, it, yeah. So, anyway, the ones over here came from one machine, the five from Persona 4, that's, mm -hmm. uh, Yusuke, Chie, Rise, Teddy, I can't see from Teddy here. Teddy with the star eyes. Star eyes, yeah, star yeah. eyes, Teddy, which is kind of the special chaser, yeah. and Naoto. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the other machine had the ones over yeah. here, which is Yue, um, Yukiko, Regular, regular Teddy, Teddy and Marie. And Kanji was and in that And Kanji set. was supposed to be in that set. Yeah, he's somewhere. And then later at a convention, we found like there was a convention selling some of these things, and that's where we got these Persona 3 ones. We picked mm -hmm. up all the ones they had. I mean, there was more expensive. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it was four or five bucks a piece or something like yeah. that. But, but still nice hard. to get them all. Yeah. So, you know, we got um, Akihiko, mm -hmm. main protagonist from 3, Shinjiro, Mitsuru, and I guess. So we're still missing a couple from that set. Like we're missing Fuka, Ken, Junpei. Yeah, so. It'd be nice to find them eventually, but. I mean, yeah, well, that's, yeah. as the series get old, it's harder to find. And that's kind of yeah. the annoying thing about statue collecting is you kind of, it's not the kind of thing that you can wait and get cheaper. Right. You get yeah. it when it comes out, if you're lucky, else, because it's yeah. hard to get a lot of that stuff over here, or you just have to pay out the butt for it, right? Yeah. Um, Especially the, like, these small keychains, like, I don't know how we'll find them without going on eBay at this yeah, point. Yeah, who knows, what the, but by the time you had shipping, it's crazy, yeah. right? So we also, at the same place that had these Persona 3 ones, we also got these extra Persona 4 kind of charms. They're not quite the chains that these ones have, but there's, um, you have Margaret, uh, Dojima, and Nanako. So if we just had a Dachi... Yeah, and we have that whole, like, we secondary whole, character yeah. set. So getting into the big stuff, the mm. first ones we ever got was this Chie and Yukiko. So these ones, mm. they came together. That's how a lot of these came. They would bundle yeah. two together. And mm. I think we got those at a con or something. And those are the Persona 4 animation versions. Yeah. Which, yeah, um, they have the, yeah, they have the smaller mm. bases. They're, like, a little cheaper than the rest of them. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that was decent. I think it was, I forget if it was, like, 40 or 60 bucks or something yeah. for both of those. Um, it's and, nice to have that that like that school uniform style. Yeah, like, I like that the yeah. casual outfits. Uh, and from there, we kind of just found a couple other ones. I think the next ones we actually got, we were in Japan, and we found oh. the Rise and Teddy, which are yeah. part of the Persona Four Arena. Maybe Ultimax. I think a lot of I these are from so. the Ultimax set. Mm -hmm. So P Four A Two. Uh, the Rise I love. I love so much that I bought the um, oh, Dancing All Dancing Night, All Night Rise yeah. version. Yeah, which I, like I said, I try not to have doubles. We do have another Catherine somewhere too, but that's packed up um, yeah. just for my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those two came together. And mm -hmm. then shortly after then, we found you and Yusuke 
um, and those came together as well. Although mm. now you're starting to, some of the bases get consistent. It's weird because, like I say, oh yeah, I think these two are technically from the same set. You and Risa and Teddy and Yusuke. But then they have those different bases. But they have different bases, and yeah, like you, these are decent sized clear bases. Um, these huge. The yellow, yellow ones, ones are really annoying because they take yeah. up so much space on the shelf. And I mean, I guess it's cool if you had a big shelf that you could line them all up. Yeah. And you probably even have two lines and you make it like look really cool. Yeah. yeah. But because they're all not like that, mm-hmm. it's frustrating and especially frustrating because there's a lot of space on these stands that like use it's not basic. standing. Yeah. So if I want to put a figure like in, in a tight case, if I want to put all of these in there, some of them have to sit on top of the other stands to make them fit. So that's yeah. a little frustrating. I think next, actually, we got both... Oh, I think we have Marie next, which was from the P4 Animation Golden mm-hmm. set. So she's the only one from that, which makes sense because I think that's right. where she was introduced. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I've seen an Ultimax version of her figure, but I really mm-hmm. like this figure how she stands on the TV since so she's got her bag separate. Mm-hmm. It's, a nice, it's a nice figure. Mm-hmm. I get a lot of nice detail about her character. Yeah. So shortly after that, we got Labrys, uh, which is a really complex base and this huge axe that she carries... Um, mm. Again, just a big, nice kind of version of the figure. Um, and Elizabeth we got from the P4A2 set. And uh, and then we found Protagonist 1, or Protagonist from um, Persona 3 somewhere. This is based on the movie, so the movies mm-hmm. that came out more recently. But he's a bit of a taller scale than the rest of them. Yeah. And that is a, a little, little frustrating because I, I don't <laughs> yeah. want them to be perfect. Um, I guess we just put them a little except bit for, further back in his except fourth for perspective. Risa, who can be any size yeah, Risa, she wants. yeah, because yeah, she's alternate yeah. version Risa. <laughs> <laughs> um, and actually, so that's kind of where we got stuck. I mean, we had Catherine. I don't know when we got Catherine pretty early on. I love this yeah. Catherine. We have um, two. We have another Catherine where she's just standing up. And I'd love to get the Catherine with a K. Um, and I was looking that up for a while, but it was. It was crazy expensive by the time I found it, so maybe one day I'll get it off eBay or something. Mm-hmm. But that would be nice to have that set. Yeah. Um, Does she have a similar pose? Like, is it a mirrored pose? No, it's she's standing, like, holding the oh. straps of her, her top up. Oh, okay. She's just standing straight up, which is a little... It's um, a shame she's like, so mirroring different. this pose, because it looks so cool to pose them oh, back to back. Oh, pose them back to back. Yeah. Oh, you mean the other Catherine? Yeah. Yeah, okay. no, the other Catherine's just standing. I think she matches the other statue oh, okay. she's just standing. Nice. Yeah. Um... And then we, that's when, you know, by that point, enough time had passed between Persona 4 Ultimax that mm. um, it was, this stuff started disappearing and it was really tough to get and we we couldn't get a lot of the ones that matched this. So we had another Igis that was more in this style. Mm-hmm. It was even taller than him. And we had another Naoto that was bigger and cheaper and it had right. a huger black base. Um mm. And eventually we, we got a little lucky with those. So first we found Naoto. And it's kind of frustrating because Naoto, this version, is supposed to be bundled with a kanji. Right, yeah. That's his version, but I've never seen it. And online it's like two $300 to get that kanji alone. So mm-hmm. I can't quite uh, yeah, swing that. Yeah, it's so hard to swallow. <laughs> that's why we're missing kanji. But hopefully one day we'll find a kanji that matches. Yeah. And I guess we just picked up very recently at a con uh, this mm-hmm. version that matches the rest of the set more nicely. I yeah. think it comes from the same set. Yeah, it's also the Definitely Ultimax from, version. Yeah. yeah. So that's our Persona 4 statue collection. And oh, our... and you forgot to mention the tiny... Oh, I did. Nanako. Nanako, which, which we you had to get out. Because, yeah. yeah, my favorite character. Yeah. so sweet. We had to get it if we have, you know, you... I feel like you have to have a little Nanako. Yeah. So it'd be great to have a Dojima <laughs> yeah. and an Adachi to go oh, with Oh, yeah, her, that'd but, be nice. Yeah, no, I like Unlikely. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that's it. So thanks for checking mm-hmm. out this episode. I know it's thanks. a bit self-indulgent. And look forward to the full Persona retrospective where mm-hmm. we go over everything that came out for Persona. Um, You know, not the statues, because we did those here, not the other figures, but all of the games, mangas, books, that kind of stuff that that you might not know about. Uh, Mm -hmm. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye.